future efforts in trying to assist with energy poverty, uh, in my opinion, should uh, remain focused on uh, making sure that there is top level endorsement by, uh, by the politician, by the policy maker and also at the European level. That pressure needs to be maintained so uh, that the system starts to react as uh, climate is changing and uh, poverty is also on the rise. In an era that we are talking about smart grids, smart metering, it's not possible, it's so difficult to access the data. So uh, we need to agree on how to organize all this information, how to protect it, how to build the trust with the end user, and mainly, how can this be useful for the end user? So uh, we suggest to try to uh, organize, to build some organizations, neutral ones, that gather all this information, not only for the DSOs, not only for the utility companies, which they have a conflict of interest, have something neutral that then with a, a consent form, uh, all the third parties can gather this information and use it for the, their clients or customers. In uh, these uh, three years of uh, work, uh, we have uh, prepared a lot of material addressing both the uh, social actors uh, and vulnerable consumers uh, and I would recommend uh, using them and uh, building on them to prepare new material, especially the training course for the social operators. Uh. One of the key learnings to emerge from SmartUp is that while it's important to deliver energy saving advice to households, both in terms of interacting with a smart meter or to making behavioural changes in their home. I think one of the key issues needs to be in being able to provide a basket of support to households and this might include energy efficiency measures to retrofit poor housing, um, provide support to address fuel debt or other issues that households which we know who are in energy, who are in energy poverty uh, will be suffering and this needs to happen across EU member states at the EU level and it needs to start from at the bottom from the smallest of the localities up to the national policy makers because no house household should suffer from a geographical lottery in terms of whether or not they're able to access the support that they need and have a right to. What we noticed in Italy but it happened also in the other countries involved in SmartUp was the lack of knowledge by social operators uh, on energy issues. Uh, even as consumers, uh, they were not aware of uh, how the energy in the household was used, uh, how to read their energy bills. So it really is important as they are a very good communication channel to reach the vulnerable consumers, uh, to train them on these issues uh, so that they are able to properly communicate uh, and uh, provide support uh, to vulnerable households or people in, in energy poverty. In the future it's very important to use the same criteria for energy poverty. Not even local, regional, country, it's EU level. We need to know what is energy poverty considering weather conditions, the quality of the building, uh, energy profile, social issues, all of it has to be considered and we have to agree with something as soon as possible.